hi welcome as you can tell I have my makeup already done because I'm using today for the first time a new product a new to me product from Burberry it is relatively new it came out not too long ago and I'm really excited to share that with you so if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching all right so let's start what I'm gonna do first I already have my sunscreen on I'm gonna use today the Burberry Ultimate Glow Cushion in the shade 20 Fair Cool. It is not a new product for me, but since I'm using the Burberry palette, I thought I might as well just use the cushion foundation, which is actually a really nice cushion foundation. And this is what it looks like inside. It is made in Korea, 12 months shelf life. And of course, I'm gonna use my BK Beauty foundation brush to apply the product. So it does give you a pretty light coverage with a glow i'm not gonna go for a second coat because this is the way that i like it. i like light coverage now i'm gonna use a concealer it's not a new concealer because i already used it in my last two or three videos but i want to use it all because it is a sample card and i'm loving it i'm gonna get a full size in my next sephora haul it is the rare beauty uh, i think it's called liquid brightening concealer the shade that i use is the lightest of the card is 160 c and it's been perfect for me so that's exactly what i'm gonna apply as concealer for concealer i'm going to use my uh, bk beauty concealer brush i want to use up all that concealer so i'm going to be using it for the next couple of days until it's gone i did apply a little bit too much and it is a brightening concealer like the name implies so it's really 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 nice and i found that throughout the day after eight hours of use or more it doesn't crease, it doesn't accentuate my fine lines, it doesn't like turn gray or anything like that. It's just a really, really nice concealer. So now I'm going to set it up with some powder. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Power in Celestial Light. I've been using it as well the last few days and I'm loving it. So I'm going to pick up the same brush I used last time, uh, the Shikoto Special Edition brush. I know it's not on sale anymore on stock, but they do have new ones for every year they come out with um, new ones for the lunar year I'm not sure if that one is already sold out I think it might not be if I find it I'll put in the link down below but it's a similar shape it's just that the handle sh changes a little bit according in accordance to the animal so let's get a pick up pick up a little bit of that translucent powder powder it is like a highlighting powder but I haven't seen only when I apply like in the face is where I see a little bit of sparkle. Just a, not a sparkle, but like a little bit here and there. Like right now, I don't see any. Oh, here, there's like one or two. And it doesn't really bother me. It's so subtle. And you can really, I can't really tell much. But if that bothers you, then you wouldn't like this powder. But I am liking this powder. I think it does a really good job of setting the makeup. And it just gives you like a really pretty sheen. The area around my nose is still a little bit, it's much better. But if you saw my last video with the OYS full face makeup, um, one of the products gave me like a, a reaction and it started peeling around my, my mouth. It is much better. My lips are much better as well because I'm using a new product and I'll let you guys know in a future video what it is. I want to keep on using it more but I still have a little bit of dryness here so if you see it, if the camera is picking it up, that's what it is. Um, I'm still recovering from that uh, ordeal. I'm going to put the link of that video at the end of this video so you guys could see it and see which of the products is the one that gave me the reaction. The rest of the products were really good, really amazing, but that, that, that just one product like really messed me up. Anyways, let's go back to what we're doing in this video. The next thing I want to do is the face palette. The I'm going to do the Burberry face palette. It is a signature eye and face palette monogram collection. This is limited edition, but I checked this morning before starting this video and it is still available in the Burberry website. I'm going to put the link of that uh, as well below. Um, it has, it brings, it's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. And it also came with a few lipsticks and I bought three of them. I'll be using them. I'll be showing you and swatching them and, um, and I'll be using one of them today. And it has like the same the same design outside all right so you can see there is the blush it is officially called the dusty pink it's a dusty pink matte and then we have the highlighter which is a rose gold shimmer and then in the middle we have the eyeshadows from left to right top to bottom we have the Burberry beige matte golden shimmer then we have brittle brown satin and a dark 
Carmine and Satin. So we have one matte, two satins, and one shimmer. Perfect. Let's swatch it in the back of my hand and all, all of them and all so you can see them up close. Alright, so there are the shadows. I only swirled it twice and I didn't press it too hard. So there you see the four shades. This one is really pretty. Like it's really a beautiful satin. They're all very pretty. And this is the blush and this is the highlight. Very nice. I do like makeup to be separate, but I also enjoy these types of of um of products because you have everything in one palette. You're on the go, you're in a hurry, uh, you wanna travel light, you wanna go on a trip and it, you only wanna carry a couple of things in a in a makeup bag and you carry on maybe. This is it. You have three products and one. It's really really nice. But let's see how they work on the eyes, right? So I am going to start with a fluffy brush. I'm going to use a BK Beauty 503, which is really fluffy. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the matte on the crease, give it like a base. I'm going to use this on the outer half of my eyes. And then I'm going to use this shimmer on the inner half. And I'm going to use that red carmine, probably like um, an underline. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see how it comes out. I could even put a little bit of red on the top. Let's see. So I'm going to start with that beige matte it has some fallout it's a little bit powdery but it's okay and start working on the crease okay it did have a little bit just a little bit of fallout very little but i could clean it off now it is really pretty to apply really pretty i like it let me do the other eye okay so there is the matte on both eyes i think it's lovely I'm going to smooth this out the edges. I don't want harsh lines. The same brush, I'm going to clean it off a little bit. I'm going to pick up some of that some of that brown. And I'm just going to go here on the crease and the outer half of my eyelid. It does blend really well, I think. I think something that helps minimize fallout is instead of going in, out, try to go out, in. I think that works for me. Sometimes I don't get as much fallout. And I go really, and I go slowly as well. No hurry here. At least the first time that I use a palette, I try to go slow and get acquainted with it and see how it performs. So I, gotta, I pick up a little bit with the tip of the brush, and then I'll do the edge here. And then with without picking any new product with any all the excess, I just blend how blend out here the edges. That's why I went a little bit higher than I wanted to. So I'm not. Oh, I think I cleaned too much. I'm gonna swipe just a little bit and then go back and fix it and clean it up. I'm gonna get that concealer brush for a second and clean here off a little bit. Pretty good so far. Now for the inner half, I'm gonna um, find a more dense brush. I'm gonna refer number one. It's still has a little bit fluffy, but it's more compact, more compact than the one from BK Beauty. I'm gonna pick up some of that. I think I'm gonna see that red will be a little bit. It's kind of like a red orange. I don't know if it's gonna be too much for my inner half. Let's try it. Mm, not a fan, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna go see a client now, and I didn't want to go that pigmented, but this is my chance now to try this makeup. So it is a beautiful color, by the way. It is very pretty, and it has. Uh, a satin, a really pretty satin shift to it. Like, um, I wouldn't say shimmer, but it does have it's satin, so it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, formula. I'm gonna blend out here the edges just a little bit. You could go as dark or as light as you want, but this is all I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush that I used earlier and clean it off a little bit. I think I need a little bit more cleaning here in the edges, and I'm going to clean off here eight too blend everything together here in the middle um, I'm gonna get a finger and get that gold shimmer and apply it here in the middle I don't know if I'll be able to do a full day wear test of these shadows like I do with foundation I won't be able to do it because I have when I came back from my client which is kind of a dry a long drive by the time, time I get home I had to do a couple of things what I'm I won't be able to sit down and film again but I will leave a pinned comment that you guys know what I think of this makeup or the shadows, how they perform at the end of the year, at the end of the year, at the end of the day. 
I'm not liking. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I'm not liking this out here. I'm gonna get some of that. No, it's gonna make it dark. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get a clean, fluffy brush. I don't have a clean, fluffy brush. That's the only brush I have. Okay, I have another from BK Beauty. The 101, 202. I don't know where I got 101 from. And I'm gonna clean off a little bit here. Um, yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna get some of that highlight since I'm already here and apply it up here. And then with a tiny brush, um, this brush from Sonia G Mini Booster. I know it's not for that, but I had to clean my brushes this weekend. I'm going to here on the tear duct area. It's not a huge highlight, but it does have some highlight. I'm gonna have to use this brush for the under the waterline. I'm gonna go just with a tip. I'm gonna get some of that red and apply here. And then clean it off and get some of that darker brown and apply here. As much as I think that red shade is pretty, I don't think it looks good on me. It looks it makes me look kind of sick. Yeah, I don't I'm not liking that red under the waterline, but I don't think I can fix it anymore. I'm gonna get some of that brown and the light brown beige one and see if I could fix it a little bit because I don't like the way it's looking. Okay, soften it up, soften it up a little bit. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do because I think it's a lot. I think the shadows performed pretty well, but my choice of order was what messed it up. I don't think I'm gonna use that red again on the waterline. I think it makes me look um, a little bit, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's similar to shallow, but it's not shallow. I can't remember the word sallow. Is it? Maybe you look kind of sick. Maybe not, maybe it's just me and you guys think it's gorgeous, I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's apply some blush and highlighter i'm gonna use today for bronzing it's i'm not sure if it's a bronzer or it's a shimmer i swatched it last night and it looked like a bronzer so i'm talking about the guerlain meteorites the gold pearls light revealing pearls of powder but the color is a little bit darker so i'm gonna use it as a bronzer just what it looks like the fragrance is just amazing if you know um their their fragrance i love it so i'm gonna get the Sony G Niji Pro and apply it where I apply bronzer and it does have a shimmer so I'm not gonna go too strong but I just want a little bit of color on my pale cheeks oops I lost the ball I lost the pearl just go here around the perimeter of my face it's not a lot of color but it is I think it's very pretty and it goes well with my skin tone and that's just the fragrance it's just so delicious so wonderful so I don't know I love it that's it, it's just a touch to give me a little bit of color. And next I'm going to use the highlighter and blush from the Burberry palette. I'm going to use, to apply uh, the blush, I'm going to use the Sonia G Jumbo Base. I'm trying to remember, uh, memorize the names, the Jumbo Base. Let's get, pick up a little bit with a brush and start, start applying just here and take it back. Mm, very pretty. And I didn't pick up that much. It's, it's quite pigmented. There you go. I think it's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a Wayne Goss number four from his collection. From his edit collection. Pick out some of that highlight. I'm going to go slowly first and build it up because I don't know how it's going to look on my skin. I think it's going to be not too bright. Like They won't see me from the moon today. But regardless, it is very pretty. I'm going to pick up some and apply here on my forehead. Just where the light hits me. And some on the bridge of my nose. I think I'm going to get a little bit more. I like it. What do you guys think? It is very pretty. For mascara, I don't have a new mascara for now. But I want to use this mascara today. This is the Merit Mascara, which is really, really amazing they have gifted me mary gifted me a few things including the mascara but i kept that one um unopened because i already had the mascara before so i'm using the one i had from before it is a it's a clean um brand and their products are just the way that i love like minimalistic natural looking makeup so their mascara is is not like uh, you're not gonna get that falsy look falsy lashes but it does give you a beautiful lift and it coats every, latches, la every lash 
and um, doesn't give me spidery effect, which I, I don't like. Mascara applied. All right, so the last step is lipsticks. I have two new lipsticks from Burberry. It is their... Oh, I didn't tell you guys that the palette is made in, in Italy. I just remembered to mention that. I got the Burberry Kisses in three shades. They're made in Italy as well. This is what they look like, and they are magnetic. I'll show you right now. But it's like one of those that just turns into place. Is I had got the shade Delicate Rose, Pearl the Red, and Pearl Oxblood. I am going to swatch all three, but I'm only going to use watched one because my lips are not in perfect condition today to be you know applying so many lipsticks and taking them off and all that i'm gonna swatch in the back of my hand and i am gonna use the lightest of the three because like i said i am earlier i'm gonna go see a client let me show you the lipsticks this is delicate rose this is the one that i'm going to end up using this one is pearl the red is called again yeah pearl the red is beautiful beautiful in the format it is so soft and then this is ox blood all three are gorgeous ox blood pearl the red and delicate rose they are very pretty they have more shades if you guys are interested and i believe they're still available at the time that i am doing this video so i'm going to use delicate rose i'll be the best for today it's called Delicate Rose, but I see it more like a peachy nude. It feels really buttery, really nice. Feels great on the lips. A more beige nude would have looked nicer, I think. But I think it, uh, it still works. And I wanted to stick to those three lipsticks because I want to use them for this video since I'm using a Burberry palette. This is my final look for today. So I use the palette and I use the lipsticks of the new products. And I also use the cushion foundation, the Laura Mercier powder, and the Merit mascara. I think it looks really pretty. Next time, I'm not going to use as much red because I don't think it looks good on me. Even though it brings out the green of my eyes, like the, the olive, the hazel in my eyes, I don't like that much that, that red under, under the red in the waterline area. So next time, I won't use it there. But overall, it was easy to apply, easy to plan. I think it looks beautiful. And I'm going to leave a pinned comment at the end of the day to let you guys know how it performed, how everything performed. So this is all I have for you guys today. I'm going to leave links of everything in the description box. Let me know in the comments below if you've used any of these items. Let me know your thoughts, any questions and comments. I love to hear from you guys. So thanks for coming by to watch me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.